magic school bus. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Wow, those pheromones really worked. They thought we were bees from their hive and passed us by. Come on! I made it through alive! You're an unstung hero, Arnold. This is incredible! There's a zillion bees crawling all over. Where's the honey? Um, uh, hello. Uh, what does he want me to do? Actually, it's not a he, Ralphie. All the worker bees in here are she's. Maybe she wants to be your honey, Carlos. She's sharing her food with you, Ralphie. In a hive, it's one for all and all for one. If you say so, Miss Frizzle. Hey, this stuff is terrific. It's sweet and delicious. What's Ralphie doing? According to my research, every bee has a proboscis. It's kind of like a tongue that they use to gather food and share with one another. Yum! What is it? Where'd they get it? Hey! I bet it's flower nectar. Remember back when we went inside the flower in Mr. Seedplot's garden? And we saw the bees drinking up all the nectar? So is that nectar they're up tucking into these honeycomb cells? Mmm, taste it and see. It is nectar! There may be nectar in that cell. But there's honey in this one. Mm -hmm. So where does the honey come from? Look at this. It looks like these bees are stirring the nectar. And these bees are fanning the cells with their wings. Nectar's thin and watery, right? Mm, but honey is thick and syrupy. Well, maybe the bees fan and stir the nectar to evaporate the water. That would make it thicker, wouldn't it? Bees eye, Tim! Honey is made from thickened nectar. But nectar is seriously yummy as it is. Why turn it into honey? I bet it lasts longer when it's thicker. Like my grandma's strawberry preserves. Yum. Oh, a bee-dazzling process, isn't it? So, to replace Grandpa's honey that went down the drain, all we have to do is take this honey and... Tim, I don't think the bees want us to take their honey. They're plugging up the cells. And look, this bee is mixing honey with that orange stuff and feeding it to the larva. You see, Tim, they do need the honey. They don't make it for us. They make it for themselves and their babies. And if we take it, they'd have to make more. Which would be okay, except that after tonight's frost, the flowers will be gone. You're right, Wanda. No more flowers, no more nectar, no more honey. If we take their honey, these bees won't make it through the winter. So, as my great-aunt Beatrice used to say, it behooves you to behave like the bees. You mean, make our own honey. Why not? We'll collect some delicious nectar. Up chuck it into a honeycomb. Stir it to help it thicken. And when it turns into honey, we're in business. All we need to do is find some flowers. Can we do it in time? We won't know until we try. Let's jive out of this hive. <laughs>